Hey Gorge, I'm Joy Malouf and I'm here with the lovely and uber chic Chrisel. Thanks for having me. Thanks for coming. Um, Chrisel has an amazing YouTube channel, you have to check it out. The videos are produced so beautifully, it's like moving fashion. I'm obsessed. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from you. <laughs> Speaking of obsessed, please tell me one beauty thing that you're obsessed with in fashion right now. Okay, so I don't know if this is weird, but I've been really into colors lately on my face, especially on my lips. Um, and I am completely loving the color purple right now. Love, it's my favorite color. Is that weird though, to have on my lips? Um, I don't think so. I feel like you have like a nice, like, juicy lip to throw on like a pretty color like purple, mm -hmm. but I feel like there's a trick about like, there's a trick in how to do it. I like to start with the color in the middle and then kind of fade it out with like a little fluff shadow brush. So there's no lip line and it's not like aggressive. It's just soft and pretty. It's almost like a haze of purple. So it's almost like an ombre going from dark to light? Ooh, yeah. Okay. Exactly. Never done it before, but I trust you. Well, let's ombre your lips. All right. I think the first thing that anyone should know about wearing like a, a statement color like mm -hmm. purple is that you want to make sure that your lips are smooth and you know have like a lot of luster. Right. You don't want any dry skin. So we just want to use a nice lip scrub. And I'm just gonna apply it with a Q-tip because I feel like with a finger, with using your finger, you uh -huh. might scrub too hard. And then we're gonna just wipe this off. If there's any um, sugar left on it, just take a dry tissue or the dry side of the tissue. With that scrub, there's like a little moisture in it, but I wanna moisture it a little bit more. So I'm gonna use some eight hour cream. What is this? It's this amazing product by Elizabeth Arden. It's been around forever. Uh -huh. You can really just use it on anything that's dry or that needs healing. So the third thing I'm gonna use is a drop dead gorgeous purple lip tar. And Obsessive Compulsive makes really good, like wet to matte lip colors. And why I like them so much is because you can kind of build on them. I'm gonna put the pigment in the center of the lip. And then you can mix that together, just slightly. And then I'm gonna just kind of build it up and out on all ends. So what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna take this eyeshadow brush. This one's made by Makeup Forever, and what I like about it is that it's kind of fluffy, but it's stiff enough where uh -huh. you can um, kind of structure the lip color. And what I'm gonna do is basically take the lip color from the inside, and then just, it almost kind of just fades it out to the edge so that you don't need a lip liner. It just gives a, like a wild color lip a chic approach. It almost kind of makes it look like it's a part of your lip as opposed to like you wearing a color. I feel like once you get the lip smooth enough, I feel like it's actually very fast to apply because all you have to do is put it into the center of your lips and then fade it out with the brush. It looks so gorgeous oh. on you. Did I get some on your teeth? No, I always get stuff on my teeth because I have oh. the biggest front teeth ever. Well, all you have to do is, Cindy Crawford taught me this a long time ago. We'll put your food right in your mouth and you pull it out and then it Ooh. takes all the lipstick off. I think if you keep the rest of your face minimal, I think you could totally rock this during the day. It's my new color for the summer. It looks so good on you. To find out what products we use and for more beauty tips and tricks, check out the Zoe Report. <laughs>